If you follow our Instagram or YouTube channels, you know we have a history of creating some quirky designs. Well, our next project is no different, and it's sure to inspire the modding community. The team out at Cardossi Customs were kind enough to send us a kit from their latest project. Introducing the SNES GCC, a well thought out, planned and manufactured circuit board that allows you to convert your Super Nintendo controller to be played on a GameCube or Wii console. The circuit is a high quality 2mm design and features trigger buttons as well as a key ring. It comes with the necessary controller circuit as well as rumble pack. And as well as a pre-soldered high quality braided GameCube controller cord. The first and most difficult part of the build involves soldering the controller circuit. We recommend using a fine tip solder and solder iron set to approximately 300 degrees Celsius. Then starting by soldering the outer edge of the controller chip and working your way inwards. It's then just a matter of taking your time and working your way around the circuit board. Once all the points have been soldered, we generally go over them one more time with some flux to neaten up the finish and to avoid any shorts. Then using a brush, we remove any of the dried flux remaining on the circuit. With the most difficult part of the build out of the way, it's now a matter of just attaching the extra peripherals, in this case, the rumble pack. The position is clearly marked on the PCB and comes with double-sided tape to mount. It's then just a matter of soldering the two wires to the corresponding points on the PCB. Then using a sharp blade or Stanley knife, gently trim away the left and right trigger buttons as well as the key tag.
With the PCB broken down to its bare components, it's now just a matter of mounting it within the Super Nintendo shell. We found that it's easier to mount the board with the removal of the trigger buttons. While the controller was apart, it was cleaned and reassembled with new rubbers. The PCB is pinpoint accurate and mounts to the original Super Nintendo motherboard points. To avoid any confusion, the trigger buttons are clearly marked with R and L and simply click into place. It's then just a matter of soldering the fastening points to the PCB as well as shorter gauge wire for the trigger buttons. The last point in the build process involves soldering the controller wires to the PCB. Then it's just a matter of neatening the wires and mounting the trigger buttons before closing it up. Enjoying this video? Now's the perfect time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. With the controller finally built, it was just a matter of testing it. And in this instance, we decided to use the Nintendo Wii. And what better game than Mario Kart Wii? To put the controller through its paces, we chose Grand Prix and 150cc. Well, what can we say about this design? Pure genius. The Super Nintendo controller feels comfortable and natural playing Mario Kart Wii. With the genuine refurbished shell, buttons and new rubbers, gameplay feels firm and crisp. And with the addition of the paracord, gives the controller longevity. With the growth of the Retro Revival, it's pleasing to see modders like Cardossi Customs taking the time and ingenuity to plan and create these aftermarket parts for Nintendo consoles. 
If you haven't already, we recommend that you check out at Cardossi Customs on Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming quirky videos. Until then, stay safe.